Well, it was a, it was a hobby, but it was an obsessive hobby. But I've never been one of those guitarists that sort of goes, yeah, it's got to be a certain wood. You know, it's got to be maple wood neck and the pickups have got to be this. And I'm not that sort of player. For me, it was always about the sounds, the pedals. The guitar is just a, a way of getting those sounds out of the pedals. It was funny, you know, I'd be the long haired kid at the back with a Skid Row t-shirt on. And in the sort of early 90s, that was a time where a lot of electronic music was coming through. Rave scene happened and I, I wasn't into it. When I went to university, that was like a big melting pot of styles and I sort of got exposed to all these different styles of music. When I first heard Your Generation and certain tracks on that that had guitars, that's when I sort of something clicked and I thought, yeah, this is as heavy as anything I've been into before. And I just got obsessed with it really. Prodigy played at my university and I was just an 18 year old kid and I went to the gig and sort of met them afterwards and just said I was expecting to see a guitarist they didn't have one so I just said where's your guitarist and they said well we haven't got one so I just legged it home and made a demo tape I went backstage afterwards and gave it to Liam and that was it really I didn't expect anything of it and a couple of weeks later he got in touch and just said what are you doing next week do you want to come to I think it was Paris was the first time I played with them I felt like I had all these ideas and sounds, and I felt like I had something interesting guitar-wise. So when I got involved with Pitch Shifter, I think I'd found a little home with all these weird ideas that I had, and they just let me go for it. The best gig I ever did with Pitch Shifter was opening the main stage at Reading. Still watch it to this day on YouTube and stuff. It's just the whole crowd, the camera pans around and the whole crowd are just, and that was just incredible. I suppose at the time I was still just a fanboy. I was still playing in these bands going, I can't believe I'm playing in this band, I love this band. <laughs> My favourite part of it was the creative part of it, was sitting in the studio, messing around with ideas. And that's still the bit that I enjoy the most. My album's called Head Wars, and the reason I called it that is just a little bit of a, a dig at myself for uh, overthinking, like overanalyzing things, constantly thinking too much, having all these little battles all the time in your head, sort of going, Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but it led to this. But yeah, but then that happened. And sometimes I just wish I could, you know, just shut your head off. It's rowdy, electronic, noisy, glitchy, messy. If I wasn't playing guitar or writing music, I don't know. It's quite scary to think about it because I can barely hang a picture on the wall.